Good morning folks. Here we have a 26 foot regulator. Customer brought to me with radar issues. Recently had uh, wiring work done to it and now the radar won't work. So we're going to jump in here and see if we can troubleshoot it and uh, find out the problem. Let's get on in here. So the batteries are already on, so let's power up the units. Garmin 4208 and a 5008. While we wait, I'll show you guys the radar. It is a GMR 18 HD. See there? I'm not sure uh, the guy was a friend of a friend or an actual technician, but we'll find out. Let these babies warm up. Alright, select. So I see I have no radar selection on my 4208 or on my 5008. So. I do hear the radar scanner warming up, so that tells me that most likely the power is good. There is possibly a communication issue. So uh, first things first, I'll go behind the unit, check the Ethernet connection and see what we got. So here is the radar Ethernet cable that plugs in the back of the unit. And it is a factory crimped cable, as you can see there. We have white and orange, white and green, blue, white and blue, green, white and brown, brown. So up top, we just see the opposites because it's a crossover cable. So what we'll do now is unbolt the radar and check the cable up top. Okay, in order to get the radar off and get access to the cable, you have to undo the four bolts. Usually going through the hard top here. As you can see, I've already started loosening them. There was two out here and there was two in the e-box. Um, not too bad to get out. A little corroded but otherwise pretty easy so I'll see you up top okay radar is unbolted let's lift it up and see what we have underneath okay there we can see we have power and Ethernet they're both plugged in let's unplug them and see what we got here I want to do the power first Okay, slide the radar over. And let's check out this cable. Alright, as I can see here, this is a customer installed cable. And let's check it out. Alright, there's your issue. They did not correctly install the wires into the RJ45 connector. Therefore, we're getting some communications, but most likely there's no talking between the two units. So what I'm going to do, cut this off and start over and uh, see what we got. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and disassemble this plug. You do that by unscrewing the lower compression nut and sliding the adapter down to the cable. I got both ends unplugged, power's off to the unit. You never want to cut a cable when it's connected and powered on. You might short something out inside the unit. So I'll make a nice clean cut. The way I do these, I always give myself a lot of extra room. So I'll take about an inch of sheathing off. Nice and careful not to cut the twisted pair inside the sheathing. A little bit more, guys. There it is. All right. Go back this foil. 
and this plastic that protects the cables as well. All right, trim this plastic off. Okay, so now, since we started off with the white and orange down there at the unit, it needs to cross over. So it needs to start off with white and green up here. So what I like to do is get all my wires untwisted. And before you guys do this, if, you, if you're doing it from scratch, make sure you put on the connector first. You'll be mad at yourself if you don't. Get rid of some more of this plastic here. Alright, so, first up, white and green. Next, green. Alright, next one's going to be white and orange and you want to try try to lay these out nice and flat and smooth makes it easier to go in the uh, RJ45 connector all right white and green green white and orange now we need white and blue Okay, next would be blue, little twist right there, so let's get that straight, there we go, sorry guys, I'm going a little slower today, it's like 24 degrees right now, so my hands are frozen, alright, next up will be orange, followed by white and brown and then finally brown so straighten them all out flatten them out let's verify we got it in the correct order there's one out of place here okay that's good good there those are good. Okay. Let's verify our colors. White and green, green. White and orange. White and blue, blue. Orange, white and brown, and brown. Okay. Next we're gonna get our RJ45 connector and slide it on there but first what I'll do is get these straight a little bit more guys I don't want it to be on there I want to do this one time only a little better there all right so what I do now is I'll take and trim these nice and flush it's important to be flush because you don't want one to push up against the connector and not the others so I'll say a half inch to an inch let's see here let's see All right, so about three quarters of an inch showing out of the sheathing. Should be good. What I'll do now is, if you can see this, is I'll slide the connector while holding the cables. Guide it slowly in to verify you're going in the right 
slot in the RJ45 connector. Let's see if I can turn this camera here so you can see it better. having a hard time focusing you see how it's sliding over the cables just verify it goes in the channel as you push it up okay. alright so we want to push down pretty firmly also you want to keep this shield back you don't want it to get in the mix there it's going to crimp down on the outer shield here all right, so you see there. I always verify at the end of the cable to make sure that it's all the way flush up against the very, very, very tip. You can see the colors in there as well to verify you're in the right order. Okay. Take your RJ45 crimpers. Give it a good squeeze. Verify all the pins are crimped down, which they are. And reconnect the connector, let's see. I'm gonna push this up until it stops. We're gonna screw the very bottom compression nut on. And uh, that should do it. Let's plug it all back up and see what we get. All right, everything's plugged back up. Uh, I didn't bolt anything down yet because I wanna verify that it works before I Go and bolt it down. <clears throat> See what happens. I hear the radar is warming up. That's a good sign. <clears throat> All right, there we go. And there it is. There's your radar selection. Click it, see what we get. All right, let's transmit the radar. It's in standby, the magnetron's warming up, about 30 seconds. I'll probably go ahead and do a software update to these units while I'm here, just to uh, make sure everything is up to date. It might be a little out of date. All right, here we go. Ready to transmit. All right. Menu. Transmit radar. Hang up. All right, and there we have targets. So that fixes that. So the real issue was that uh, it was basically a uh, poorly installed cable. The guy who did it didn't exactly know what he was doing, obviously. On these Garmin units, uh, all their Ethernet cables are crossover cables, so there's only two colors that do swap in those cables, and that's your orange and green pair. <clears throat> You have orange beginning on the RJ45 on one end, you want it on green on the other. So, uh, I think what he tried to do was copy what was down here on the other one, and uh, that, that don't work. So, what I'll do now is, and you wait order standby. Go ahead and uh, software update here, see what we got. Update software. Alright, that should go well. Alright, well this is uh, updating. I'm going to go ahead and start bolting down the unit. Um, before I do that, I'm going to reseal the 
pole up top. You don't want water to get inside the e-box or, or leak through into the hard top and soften it. So I'll scrape the old silicone off, apply new, and uh, go from there. Alright, so everything's up to date on the software. Uh, it's uh, redoing the GMR18 now, so after this loads up, customer will be good to go. Alright, before I set this unit back down permanently, I'm going to redo this silicone job that was really poorly done. Um, you should really use the rubber grommet when you're going through a hard top. Kind of helps with the wire chafing and whatnot. Um, also, there is a piece missing here that keeps the wires in place and keeps some strain off them. I'll uh, go ahead and put one of those on too. Uh, you shouldn't let just the average guy install your radar on your boat. It's a pretty important uh, component. Also, I'll seal the bolt holes back up before I set it down. Scrape all that old crap off of there. Um, I suggest Life Seal by Boat Life. I love it. Best stuff. Use it on a all kind of applications so you can get the life seal or the life cock it's up to you I use the life seal a lot though but uh all right let me get this done step back down and call the customer okay she's all back together all operations are good radars bolted down hard top is sealed up software is updated washed it out good to go um, all it boiled down to was this guy right here See if you can see that improperly pinned RJ45 connector. Uh, this comes from lack of knowledge, so choose your installer wisely, or you end up doing it twice. Um, sorry for the crappy video quality. It's my first video, and it's really cold and extremely sunny right now at the same time. And my neighbor decided to blow the leaves out of his driveway at 20 degrees outside, so that doesn't help either. But, please like and subscribe to my channel, More Marine. I'll be doing a lot more videos, how-tos, troubleshooting, uh, all the good stuff that involves boating and the troubles that come with it. Um, also, check out my Facebook page, More Marine. I do a lot of installs, a lot of stereo, audio, lighting, you name it. Electronics, autopilots, all that good stuff. Uh, thank you again for watching. My name's Jeff with More Marine, and have a good day.